Okay, aloha kako. So, my name is Kiahi Warfield. Today, um, many, many of you guys might know <coughs> that my capacity in perpetuating unique educational opportunities, Keokawani Youth Development, the RISE program in Keoka. Today I come as a, as a Hawaiian from Keokaha. Born and raised for the past 36 years of my life, as identified by the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act. A native Hawaiian, capital N, native Hawaiian, small N, Kanaka Maoli, Kanaka, Kanak, Hawaiian, whatever you want to call it, okay? But today I represent me, I represent my family, and I represent all the voices that cannot be here and cannot possibly give testimony to how beneficial science, education in Hawaii, here on Mauna Kea, in Keoka, in all of our communities throughout the state of Hawaii, is and can be. Um, today, I, I prepared for you guys a 10-point plan on my own because uh, I feel it is important to, to showcase <laughs> not why this uh, hokokea is important, um, but um, how, right? We need solutions as to how because, as you all know, there's a lot of issues happening on the mountain. How we're going to move past the issues where everybody can be happy. It's impo it's, some people think it's impossible. I don't. Okay. I always feel that get one solution and we're, we're, everybody can find a way to solve today's problem. But we got to be real. So let's be real. Okay. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my life growing up, Keokaha Elementary School, K to six, move on to uh, Hilo Intermediate School, seven and eighth grade. Attended Hilo High School, all public institutions. Unfortunate for me, I had a disease at an early age, took me out of high school, but I continued on into my college education at UH Manoa, Kapiola on the Community College, came home to UH Hilo, got my bachelor's at UH Hilo, my master's in education at UH Hilo, continuing on with my doctoral at UH Hilo. So there's a lot of pride for Hilo and UH Hilo and everything that we have. Okay. Now, the decommissioning of the, um, the telescopes, um, I want to share something that I, I got out of the Olelo no Eau this morning. And what I was looking for was something on knowledge and how knowledge is, is, is the important factor. Okay. Not just Native Hawaiians, not just the general Hawaiians, not just Mount. It's really about knowledge. So this um, Olelo no Eau. Amy Valenoi Kalua Oka Uau, Aole Loa. Seek as you will the borrow of the Uau. It cannot be found. You cannot assume one's knowledge, especially if you don't know them. You cannot assume anybody in this, you know, what anybody in this room knows. I might know something that you don't know, and you might know something that I don't know. Okay? It's for you to know and for me to find out. The only way you can do that is through collaboration, partnership. <coughs> okay? I didn't get involved with this whole mess just to be one troublemaker. I want to find solutions. And the only way I can find the solution is by seeing for my own self what is going on, what's happening on top of the mountain, exposing our kids to that experience so they themselves can make, you know, a justification for themselves on what they believe, which is fine. Not everybody going to agree with astronomy. Not everybody going to agree with native Hawaiians and how they believe. But that's just the world, you know. But how we move past that, especially with the resources that we do have now, you know, Growing up in Keoka, my dad, hard to get rid of stuff because he always tried to fix it. You know? Always trying to fix things, fix the other, not throw them away. No. So that's the same way I feel about Hokuke. Why are we going to throw something away? Why are we going to bring something all the way down to Hilo? I found out through talking with Pierre, made the initiative to talk to them and figure out, okay, what can this thing do? What does it look like? Where is the be best place to view? the celestial heaven. In my mind, I was thinking, oh, 
Yeah, take them off the mountain, move them down lower, Halipoaku. I know Hilo is now a good place, but I do know that Mauna Kea is the best place for astronomy, okay? This telescope, one of the only telescopes that UH Hilo has access to. It may have been broken for a long time, but you can obviously see that effort was made to repair it. It can now be implemented. It can be utilized with the Native Hawaiian community. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with seeing the potential of what that telescope can bring? Now, growing up in Keokaha, um, I love it. But not all the time we were happy of, you know, to say we was from Keokaha. But nowadays, I am so happy that I'm from Keokaha. I'm proud to say I'm from Keokaha. And I'm proud to represent a community that might not all be in favor on, on the things that we're doing right now. But for those who are, and those who want to explore the opportunities, I welcome them on board, okay? So I welcome all you guys on board as well as I go down this 10-point plan of my own, okay? So the first point, by providing expertise, project implementation and collaboration amongst primary, secondary, and post-secondary students of the public educational institutions. Astronomy gotta do a better job of getting out into the public inst uh, institutions for education. Growing up, Kalaha Elementary, Hilo Intermediate School, Hilo High School, never had an experience like that, okay? <coughs> Do they have that experience now? Second point, educational outreach to Hawaii communities in knowledge use and operation of its capabilities. Hoku Kea is probably the only telescope that we can actually utilize hands-on. I also learned from PR guys that going and talk to, talking to them that it's not about being in this telescope and working the telescope. We can work the telescope right here off this laptop in schools, in after school programs. Utilization by UH Hilo students where colleges of physics and astronomy, we have these programs at UH Hilo. Why are we taking down the only telescope that they can now utilize? It's an essential tool for what, what they're studying and aspiring to be on the best place to do that job, which is Hawaii on Mauna Kea. Intergenerational mentoring that professors, graduate, undergraduate students, all can be involved with to meet community service expectations and perhaps even for scholarships. The mentoring is important because if you get the mentoring coming down in the primary and secondary education, you create the pipeline that makes UH Hilo stronger. You guys seen the reports, student enrollment is down. How come? Because everybody's out of one job. They're going into jobs already where they're getting minimum wage and they're suffering. Can I make one living? So how, you know, that's, that's the real battle, that's reality. By providing at-risk youth an educational opportunity to explore and engage in unique science and technology programs currently not being offered anywhere else in Hawaii, less, maybe even the world. The type of opportunities that Mauna Kea presents, not only to the Native Hawaiian community, the general community, we gotta take advantage of it. But you cannot take advantage just from a science perspective. That's where we're going wrong, okay? So, to instill a sense of pride and identity for language, culture, practice, and self-esteem in the development of na'awau, or enlightenment, and sustainability. A lot of Native Hawaiian <coughs> practitioners coming out showcasing their knowledge, their spiritual beliefs. That knowledge gotta be shared somehow. If we cannot share knowledge, then that's not aloha. This is the aloha state. It's about sharing. It's about bridging people. 
but we've lost trust over the years on how that aloha is exposed and exchanged. This is an opportunity to rebuild that. To create a bridge between all astronomy presence on the mountain and to encourage with the island community in a hands-on fashion. So not only students can benefit off of the experience, but should be offered to the whole island. If they're utilizing a resource that is on this island, Hawaii Island, has priority to benefit from whatever is happening on the mountain and in the rest of the state. As an opportunity to work in partnership with UH Hilo institutions, such as Imi Loa, to extend outreach education and relevance of culture and science. Here we get one beautiful building, Imi Loa. Okay. It's tasked to bridge science and culture. Let's utilize it. It's there already. Why are we going to build on a whole other thing? Let's help to make it what it needs to be. You get the equipment. We have the communities that may be interested. I mean, you know, the resources are here at UH Hilo. My goal, my intent is to make education, you know, the spot here on Hilo here in Big Island. Why we cannot have on top university over here in, and make our school strong? What makes us second, third, fourth, fifth to Silicon Valley? Okay. Um, I mentioned this as a way to include indigenous knowledge in science programs. That's not happening. And I can tell you this from experience because over the past couple months, I've been trying to get more kids up to the mountain to realize what is there. Then you can make one clear judgment on what is happening, what is missing, and how to make it stronger. This is Hawaii, to, folks, we're living in today. It's made up of tons of people, different ethnic backgrounds, long history, oppression, I mean, colonization, and we can talk and talk and talk about the history, but where are we going? Where are we going? The governor sends down one 10-point plan to act, have this board act. Where did that 10-point plan come from? I don't, I don't know if he came to us and we'll talk to us and see how we felt. Luckily, too, the protectors of the mountain bring the issue forward about cultural, you know, native rights, that these issues can come up, but still got to find a solution. Personally, I don't see a solution. There's nothing on top of Kea as a solution, personally. For my kids, my grandkids, it's about those guys that is not here today, creating those opportunities. And last but not least, you know, the Hokokea opens avenues for indigenous people, children, to pursue careers in science. I know of two Native Hawaiian astronomers, which is really good, because I found out also, by hanging around these guys, it's really hard to become an astronomer. So two is pretty good for Native Hawaiians. I like to see four, five, maybe a dozen. I like to see more locals up in those telescopes, running the telescopes. How are we going to do that, people? Let them tinker with the small ones, the ones that we can operate. You cannot take one, one youth, one community member, and have them go run the Subaru telescope. Maybe they can. I don't know. But at least, you know, get some experience, explore what, what kind of opportunities are out there. Get them excited. It's not for everybody. But the indigenous knowledge, that cultural practice, got to be shared amongst everybody. And that knowledge comes from inside here. It doesn't come from here, it comes from here. But we got to use two sides. Okay? And so, 
I am strongly in support. And I ask you guys to take this 10-point plan. Say, Mr. Governor, this is what the Kiahi Warfield from Kyokaha feels. Here's 10 more points to that one point to help you start the process of figuring out 10 more points for each of the 10 points. Because, you know, I represent the community. And I wouldn't feel comfortable about saying that if I didn't do anything. So as many assumptions that you guys hear going around about what we do, come down into Kyokaha and I'll show you what we do. I'll show you the students that we've worked with. I'll show you the community, I'll show you the ocean. I can share that knowledge. I want you guys to share the knowledge of astronomy with us so that we can work together and moving forward in the future. That's all I have for today. Thank you. Thank you, Kiahi. I really appreciate your uh, time and, and effort in, in reaching out. And be quite frank, I prefer your 10-point plan to the previous one. <laughs>